Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Arafel. This is your hostess, Liberty, and yeah, we're playing more Arafel today. Uh, oh shit, <laughs> I just forgot. It's not played with the WASD keys, it's played with the arrow keys. Okay, so last time, if I recall correctly, we had a boss fight? No wait, that was the time before. Last time, we went exploring all around the Ceramai Plains, that's right. And we explored all over here. We unlocked a ton of um, teleportations. And uh, we explored all of this area of the South Starway. Um, we didn't go into Blood Forest, so we didn't go to Talani Shop. Uh, we didn't go up because we had to go through the blood forest to go that way, I believe. Um, we did do a side quest. Uh, we haven't been up there, I don't believe. Possibly. I don't think we have. Maybe we did. Yeah, I don't remember. But I do know that we went to the stone quarry. We went to the farmland. We Yes, we did go to the farmland. We went to the castle, we went to the springs, and uh, yeah, we just went all over the place. We're now heading to, oh, got to press escape for that one. We are now heading this way to the actual quest for the game. Um, doesn't mean we can't pick up stuff along the way, of course. If we find anything to pick up, I will pick it up. However, there is nothing. It's a slimy frog. Yes, Lita, it is. What's up here? What is up here? What is... Oh, I see a treasure chest. Yeah, I found an essence. Hell yeah, I did. And, uh, caves. Okay, cool. We can explore these caves. Oh, this is where... Oh, hey, Talani. We're just talking about you. They call this place Lonely's Flute. I think it's because a famous flutist used to live here until she was murdered. Anyway, need anything? Um, yeah, I wanted to check out the medicine now, uh, not medicine. The goods now that I have some stuff. Uh, I've got an axe times two. Don't I? No, I've got a weapon that's just as good though. Um, I'm thinking that we might get a bow times two in the next, uh, in the next area. Wait, let me, I just need to adjust my microphone. Sorry about that. Um, okay. Wait a sec. It's on a weird angle for some reason. That should work. Okay. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, we. I, I'm thinking that we might get that without having to buy it. So, I don't think we need to buy it. Medium armor too. Hmm. We've got a bracer, we've got a shield. We don't have a conduit. We've got better stuff than a headband and a light helmet. He's got a heavy helmet, which is up his defense. But his defense needs upage, because that's what his skills work on. All right, fine. Let's shop for medicine. Let's get some medicine. We've got five of those. We've got three of those. We've got one of those. We could do with a few more of them. Um, we've got one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we're fine. I'll just, I'll just get a few more of those, and then we'll see what we can sell. Uh, yeah, let's not, let's not do, what is that? Oh, that's, that's something that we got. Oh, we can sell the opals. Yeah, and the amethysts. Yeah. And the light armor and the magical conduit. Mm, might keep that. Might keep that. No, we'll get rid of that. All right, so we've got some stuff. Got some um weapons and that. I think that's going to be useful for something. I don't know. Uh, okay. I think we're I think we're okay. Thank you, Talani. Um, we're just going to have a double check through here, make sure there's no cool stuff that we could. See. Hey, it's a little kid. What are you doing? in holy crap! It's a ghost. Leave my necklace. You have it. Oh, please give it to me. Oh, I'm begging you, please. You mean this one, the creep from the apple orchards, found here in Saramai? You can have it. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Wait, no, I can't believe it's still cursed after all this time. You have to defeat the terrible monster that cursed it. Of course I do. Why can't anything ever be easy? Can I save first? Oh no, there's a door opening. Oh, cool. And that sounded like a door opening. Yeah. Quest away. Quest away. Oh, hey, also money. Okay, kid. We're going to go and uh, defeat the terrible monster that has cursed your necklace. But first, I'm going to have a look up here and see the prettiness that is all this. Okay, cool. Alright. Seven the game, and let's go. Uh. Uh. What level am I? Okay, then. Um. Maybe later, kiddo. Maybe later. Yeah. Yeah, m maybe another time, kid? At least we know where he is now. Ooh. Yeah, Waterstone. That's magic, right? Oh, magic. Yeah, intelligence. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go and do the, the main quest. We'll do the main quest, and then we'll s maybe we'll be up enough levels after that. To come back here and help this kid. I need like a quest book or something. Oh, wait. 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 I didn't it give me a quest. It should. Oh, it does. Ah, yeah, there we go. Cool. Wait, what other quest do we have? Bounties? Bunny girl. <laughs> Armeyer. Um. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. All right, let's go down here then. Okie dokie. Left or right? Left or right? Let's go left. When in doubt, go. That was not left. When in doubt, go left. Always. What? I can't go up there. Looks like you're too short. I can see that. No, no, I mean like, generally. Yes, thank you, go away. I knew it was going to be a short joke. Um, Let's swim around here. Oh, yeah, let's swim around here. I saw the treasure chest. Hello, Monsieur Treasure. You belong in my pocket. Light armor number two. Well, that's use Less. Damn. Oh, that looks like plot. That looks very much like plot. Let's not go there quite yet. Let's have a look around here. See what's going on. What's up and at it. What you doing? Oh. Okay. I mean, I don't... I mean, there's lots of places like this that are, like, out of the way, but there's no reason for exploring them. Places like that are where you'd expect treasures to be, right? So you'd be like, oh yeah, a treasure here, let's try that out and we'll just check it. But, nope. Oh! There we go, Ceramide Plains is unlocked. That's useful. That is a useful thing that is useful and useful. Oh, crap. Hi. Yes, let's save our game. There we go. Point of no return. Yes, let us pro let us proceed. You there, girl. Goddess help you if you're Lita Lakota. Um, kinda. Am I late? Yes, you're late. We were about to start without you. Come with me and take your place, and you better be jogging beside me, young lady. Y yes sir I'll go watch with the others. Good luck, Lita. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Go stand with the other contestants, young lady. 
Right. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the 23rd Annual Archery Contest. We have some new faces this year and returning competitors, including the reigning champion for the last six years, Taran Vizer. Taran Vizer. Also from last year, we have Sophie Aminya and Rien Inala. And our new challengers are Lita Lakota and Feral Linalo. The first contestants will be Sophie, Feral, and Taran. Take your places. This is the first round, and you'll each get just one shot. The contestant who hits closest to the center of the target wins! Archers, ready? Judges, ready? Don't kill us, dudes. Archers, loose your arrows on my mark! Loose! Oh, not bad. They did a pretty good job. Middle one's best, though, I think. Taran Vizier won this round. Which one was Taran? Ah, this is unbearable. Or maybe how did I let you talk me into this? How long are we expected to sit here? Long enough to make a show of it, I suppose. Simeon the Elder insisted we spectate the competition. I admit, if this is his idea of defending his village, I find myself skeptical. These people are not soldiers. They're barely even archers, aside from this Terran person. If vampires do decide to attack in earnest, these people will all be dead, or turned before they even realize what happened. Dude looks like a vampire. Just saying. Lead us up next. I'm so excited. I bet she shoots one of the judges. If she does... Oh, wait, that was Mum. <laughs> Whoops. If she does, you better start thinking the whales to bail her, bail her out of Castle Latana's dungeon. Quiet now. The second round is starting. Yeah, middle one. I called it. Taram has won the first round. Newcomer Lita Lakota will face off against last year's runner-up, Rien Inala. Take your places, archers! Good luck, dude. You'll need it. Archers, ready? Judges! Oh. I was gonna say, I, I was trying to figure out how he was holding his bow. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was, um, the arrow was pointing up towards his eye and I was trying to figure it out. I'm like, wait, what's going on? But no, I see now. It, it probably doesn't help that the arrow shaft is um, on his is like silver or something. It's like, wait, what? Okay. That, that makes a bit more sense. <laughs> Judges, ready? Just don't kill us, dudes. Archers, loose arrows on my mark. Loose! We hit it dead center. Nice! The guy's a bit off. Lita Lagotta has won this round. My girl is rather skilled herself. I suppose that brings our counter competent defenders up to two. You'll excuse me if I don't feel particularly reassured, I hope. I sense something strange about that girl. You sense something strange about everything. Dare I ask in what capacity? I cannot tell for certain. It is, however, something I have not felt in a very long time. You're not falling in love with her, are you? Very clever. Well done, Lita, but do not let yourself get overconfident. Stay focused. Okay, Papa. I hope he's still not mad. Lita has advanced to the third round to face the defending champion, Taram Vizur. Yay! Go me. Alright, Lita and Taram, take your places. 
You've got a good eye, girl. Oh, thank you. And you've got some excellent control of your bow for someone your size, too. Uh, let's just get on with this. Oh, come on. That wasn't a short joke, Lita. He was properly impressed. Someone of your stature and size, someone small, has a harder time wielding and controlling a bow than someone who's taller, especially if it's a longbow, because those things can get pretty freaking huge. Alright, the second round, I mean, if it's a short bow, that makes a bit of sense, because she is a short person. If she is wielding a longbow, that's crazy awesome. That's like, she, the, bow, the bow would be bigger than her. Like, that's, that's crazy. And being able to control something like that, that's incredible skill. Alright. Not that I'm a bow aficionado or anything. I just, I read a lot of books, okay? I just read a lot of fantasy books. I know some stuff. There's reasons. And to those of you saying, But Liberty, reading fantasy books is just fantasy. Yeah, that's the thing about fantasy novels. They have to be dead on accurate about a lot of their information because otherwise they're not going to be able to sell you the story as a legit story. They're not going to make you actually feel um, immersed in the world if you can pick out the faults in their facts. So if they're, if they're talking about, I mean, there are lazy fantasy authors out there that don't. I, I will give you that. But there are some really good fantasy authors out there who have to do tons of research in order to just legitimately, you know, talk about the horse riding or, or boat sailing or stuff like that. They actually study that kind of stuff and look into it so that you guys, so that the readers, if somebody is a boat, boat aficionado or a, a horse riding, um, a, someone who knows horse riding, can't just say, oh no, that's not right, that's not right. Nah, this guy's got it all wrong. I mean, if you're distracted by commonplace everyday facts being wrong, then you're definitely not going to believe in the magic and dragons and bullshit that's being flown your way. So yeah, fantasy authors have to have that shit kind of packed down pretty well. Um, yeah, a lot of people underestimate fantasy writing and think, oh yeah, that's just easy, just make shit up. It's not. You've got to make everything logical. I mean, if you're writing true stories, okay, I know I'm going off on a totally sidelined thing here, but if you're writing true to life stories, you don't have to worry about things making sense because life is stupid and crazy. And if you're tra telling the truth, you know, people are just go. I mean, there's always going to be someone who doesn't believe the truth, you know? I mean, there's people who still think the world is flat. I mean, that's fucking crazy, right? Um, but with fantasy worlds, you expect everything to be made up, but you expect to be sold the illusion of the truth. So, of, of a possible truth. So you have to have everything pay it, pay, pay it, pay it down tight partner <laughs> all right or else you're not going to be able to sell that fantasy to anybody they'll be like yeah that's 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 so fake oh my god like that's fake like that's so yeah um the second round the second round's rules are different contestants will take turns and each will be given three arrows the best shot of the three will be the one that's scored the archer with the arrow closest to the center of the target will win the contest. Terum appears to be ready, so do our judges. So loosen my mark, Terum. Loose! Not bad. That's a good shot. Very good shot. Terum has hit the direct center of the target. An excellent first shot, but hardly unexpected to the reigning champion. Tarim has two shots remaining. Uh, I don't think that will be necessary. That should do it. Astounding! Tarim has voluntarily forfeited his second and third shots. Lita will need to make two perfect shots to win. It'll be tough to beat that girl. You've done well so far, though. Be proud regardless of the outcome. Thanks! Ah, that was the best shot I've ever seen. 
I have to make two of them? How in the world am I supposed to do that? Just focus, sunshine. Well, here goes nothing. All right, Lita, shoot when I tell you. Loose! That was pretty bad. L Lita, what are you doing? Lita's shot is several inches off the mark. Oh no, she was so close. If she practiced this morning instead of sleeping off that adventure of hers, perhaps she'd have a chance. Ah, oh, that was awful. If this next one isn't perfect, I can't win. All right, Lita, get ready for your second shot and loose your arrow on my mark. And loose! Well, it was closer. She's getting better at it. Lita's shot is again a bit off. Peanut gallery, here we go. Stay calm, Lita. Clear your mind. Be one with your bow. Oh, well, at least maybe I can get a tie. But how can I hit the center of his arrow if his arrow is already there? This is your last shot. Shoot on my mark. I have to concentrate this time. Loose! She shot through the bow. Arrow. <clears throat> Incredible! You just arrow split terms in half! In all my years conducting this contest, I've never seen such a thing. The judges look astounded. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion! Wow, did, did I really do that? By the goddess, Ko, I've never seen anything like that. It's as though the spirit of Arafel itself was channeled through your bow. What the abbess did I just witness? I see now, the girl has an elven artifact of power. That is what I sensed. Please tell me you're joking. No, he's right. By the goddess, she does. Even I felt that. You mean you and your sensing things? You men and your sensing things. Well, now what? I'd planned on taking a nice hot bath back home after this. You can't have some little teenager running around with something like that. The artifact is extremely dangerous. We'll speak with Simeon the Elder again, and the girl's father as well. I'm not sure strangers appreci approaching her different directly would make the most tactful option. I agree. We're, they're here at the competition. We'll speak to them before they leave. Good luck with that. What was that girl's name? Lita? I don't have a good feeling about this. Yeah! I knew it! I thought I'd get a new bow. I was thinking archery competition. Mm, might actually get a new bow out of that. Yeah! Although, although it feels a bit cheap to get that when, you know, we didn't actually do anything. A mini game would have been cool. Like, like, like a mini, a, 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 a shoot 'em kind of mini game where you have to line up your shot and everything and fall within certain parameters, get better than um, your enemies. And then on the last shot, no matter how badly you do, have that the, the power take over and or slow down and allow you to aim much better. That would have been cool. Psst, bad luck. Get on that. <laughs> I kid, I kid, I kid. I understand how, making, how hard it can be to make a big game in that, but uh, yeah. Oh look! I didn't notice that before! The birds on the statue! That actually looks cool! I wonder if that's actually deliberately done or if the bird actually stood on top of it. I think it's deliberately done actually. It's pecking at her eye. Why are you pecking at her eye? Birdie? Birdie, why? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Right. Here. Birdie, why? Naughty birdie. Okay get rid of that then. <laughs> Screen draw! Always fun! 
seems I may owe you an apology, perhaps to the both of you. That was an amazing display, Lita. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Papa. I owe you an apology, too. I'm sorry I yelled at you, and I'm sorry I made you worry. Apology accepted. I think I do understand where your wanderlust comes from. I want you, you, I want you to be more responsible in your behavior, but I cannot blame you for feeling trapped in Aloria. Anyway, I've decided to take you hunting. Really? Really. I'll head up to the hunting range. Meet me there when you're ready. Yeah! Ah, good afternoon, Simeon. And you, Edmund. Your daughter's performance was quite impressive. I am sure I can speak for all of Valoria when I express my pride in her. That's very kind of you, Elder. Even her mother hadn't expected anything quite like that. Indeed, I was wondering if I might actually have a word with you about Lita. What has she done this time? Well, it's this business with Arger. Lita was very brave to face him herself, but she broke into someone's home in order to do it, and got herself into a very dangerous situation. Yes, I'm sorry for that. She means well, but I cannot seem to get that girl to understand responsibility. Hey, he had my cat! Pardon me, I was wondering if I might have a word with you about Lita as well. All oh, right, I get to go hunting after all. This day isn't turning out so bad, huh? Yeah, it's not. Uh, Lita, did you notice anything kind of weird when you shot that last arrow? Well, I did, but I felt weird all day. I figured it was just the heat of the moment, you know? Yeah, yeah, probably. Nobody else noticed anything strange, I guess. Come on, let's go find your dad. I'll help. Yeah, to the hunting range. Yeah, get the new equipment on. Oh yeah. I wonder if it's an upgrade or not. What's this say? Archery range. Okay, so I know at least where the cave is if I need to return to it. It's just up from the archery. Just north of the archery. That's cool. Alright, so where is the hunting range? That is the question. Um, nope, nobody here. You I don't, can't buy off. What did you want? Oh, you wanted, did you want snow? Yeah, you wanted snow. You wanted to talk to the king. What was in here? Oh, skill learning. No, I don't want to reset my level. I might want to learn some skills. Let's see, what else do you have? Reflection? Power Strike 2? Cyclone 2. There we go. And later skills? Might as well get that, because, you know, why not? Um, hmm. Drink sunlight. That sounds like fun. Okay. Okay, Lita's sunlight. <clears throat> Sorry, Lita's sunlight skills can only be upgraded to level two after the respective level one skill has been learned. All right. Aww. 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 All right. She's got. Well, I could get Holy Arrow too. What else? I could get Mark. Well, mm, all right, let's see. I could get Holy Arrow too. I could get Multi Shot one now. Oh. Okay, fine. Fine. No, then. How about? Fine. I'll get. I'll get Holy Arrow too. There you go. Are you happy now? Jeez. Multi shot two, holy arrow two. Um Power Strike one? Oh, let's get Power Strike two, sure. Power Strike two. There we go. 
There we go. Yeah, there we go. We got the money. We got the money. We spent the money. Alrighty, let's go then. Down, 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 down. Wait, where is the hunting ground? I think it's across and up, right? I, yeah, cut it. Cut it with whatever you have on hand. Jeez, girl. Wait. Wait, I think I've gone the wrong way. God, guys, I don't know. The maps around here are so interconnected. It can be hard to figure out whether I'm going the right way or the wrong way or the slightly wrong way or the complete wrong way or the complete right way. Alright, where are we now? We are at the quarry. Okay. So, I think this connects somewhere, right? Oh, hey girl. I wanted to check something with you. Yeah, so I want to sell... I want to sell my bow number one. And I want to check... It is a better attack. Shit. Wait. Three... 20 attack and 3% crit. 20 attack and 3% crit. Kit. Crit. Um, I'll keep it as it is for now. I'll just... I'll just chill. I'll just chill, baby chill. Hunting range is up here. Okay, cool. Well, Papa said he'd meet me in the hunting range. I wonder where he could be. I don't know, girl. Around. I, I guess. Maybe. It's a possibility. He'll be so... What's this way? Blood forest. Okay, never mind. We won't go that way. Oh, where does this lead? What is this? What is this? Exploration! Ooh, hello. Talani shop. Oh! Oh, Talani, this is your shop. Hello, welcome to my shop. What are you in the market for, lady? Uh, let me just see if you've got any upgrades in here. Nope, no upgrades. Okay, never mind. Uh, let me check your shit out. Oh, what are you doing? What? Magical teleportation? Don't be ridiculous. I can't do that. Anyway, need your level reset? No, but I'm just looking around. You've got a really nice house, girl. I like your shit. It looks good. It looks... It's very pretty. Ve very pretty house. You have a very lovely house, Talani. I, I like it. Good job. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Hey, kid. Um, hello there, Mr. Troll. Hello. Listen, we've been paid not to let anyone pass over this bridge. If you try it, we'll have to smack you up a bit. Besides, I'm not fighting any of you without a full party. Trolls have honor too, you know. Come back when there's more of you. Ah, plot blocked. Yeah. Blocked by the plot. Well, I guess we can just go, like, have a look see around. Oh, let me guess. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look. Let's just have a look and see. And it, uh, it all leads to the same place, I guess. Okay, uh, across here. Across here is different. I mean, not not much, but a little different. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, new areas. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? No! Plot! No, why? Papa! Hey, Papa, where are you? Hmm. I guess I'll keep looking then. Okay, Plot. You had your fun. Now I get to have mine. Oh, this is where we were before. Maybe? Oh! Uh, shift. 
windstone. And that's it? That's that's all we found in here? Really? I mean, don't get me wrong, I appreciate it. Make us faster. Where is it? There we go. You! Okay. Cool. Okie doke. Well, we got some... We got some goodie. We got a goodie. Alright, so Daddy's not over here. That's unfortunate. Uh. Hmm. 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 Well, I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, we will do some more Daddy Search. And, uh, follow the plot a bit more. Until then, have a good day. And I will see you then, guys. Ciao for now. See ya.